Hello students, welcome once again to this channel. This is the part 2 of the chapter 2 Atmosphere in Geography class 7 ICSC. Uh, today we are going to see a few questions related to this lesson. Uh, before that, don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends and click the bell icon so that you would get more notifications at the right time. Come on, let us move on to this lesson. Question number 10. Explain exosphere. The exosphere is the uppermost layer. Gases like hydrogen and helium are found here. These are the light gases. They are light in weight, so they occupy the uppermost layer. In this layer, the temperature increases with height. The temperature may reach about 4500 degrees Celsius. Next question. Name the layers of atmosphere in which the temperature decreases with increase in height. Here we can also call it as altitude. There are only two layers in which the temperature decreases with increase in height. As you go up and up, the temperature decreases only in two layers. That's what they have asked. They are the troposphere and the mesosphere. Next question. Name the layers of atmosphere in which the temperature increases with increase in height. The stratosphere, the thermosphere and the exosphere. Next question. Which layer of atmosphere is the home for clouds, lightning and weather phenomena? What's the meaning of this question? In which layer of atmosphere clouds are found? lightning takes place and other weather processes, weather changes take place. The answer is the troposphere. Next question. Name the layer in which jet planes fly. Why? Stratosphere. The reason is in this layer the movement of air is in horizontal direction not in the vertical direction. That's why jet planes fly easily in this layer. Next question. Name the layer which protects the earth from the harmful ultraviolet rays of sun. Why? Stratosphere. The reason is as it contains high concentration of ozone it protects the earth. As we all know that ozone layer is the one which protects us from the harmful UV rays, I mean ultraviolet rays. So stratosphere contains ozone, so it protects the earth. Next question, name the coldest layer of the atmosphere, mesosphere. Next one, how do bright streaks of light appear in the night sky? What do you mean by streaks of light? Streaks means like lines of light. Meteors that come from outer space burn up in the mesosphere. What is meant by meteors? Like stars, planets, asteroids and other heavenly bodies, meteors are also found in this space. They move around in particular orbits. Sometimes they enter the earth's atmosphere. So due to friction of air, they burn up. So in which layer of atmosphere they burn up? In the mesosphere, they burn up. When they burn and fall down, they appear like streaks of light. 
That's why it is given. Meteors that come from outer space burn up in the mesosphere. Thus, bright streaks of light appear in the night sky. Next question. Where is ionosphere found? Why is it called so? Ionosphere is found in thermosphere. The lower part of the ionosphere consists of ionized molecules. So, it is called as ionosphere. Here, that is the correction. The lower part of the thermosphere, you need to read like that. The lower part of the thermosphere consists of ionized molecules. So, it is called as ionosphere. Next question. Which layer of atmosphere helps in long distance communication? Why? Thermosphere. This is the layer which helps in long distance communication because it reflects low frequency radio waves back to the earth. So it helps in long distance communication. Next question, which is the uppermost layer of atmosphere? Name the gases found in it. Exosphere. This is the uppermost layer of atmosphere. And here, light gases like hydrogen and helium are found. So with this, this session has come to an end. Let us continue with our studies in the next video. Bye. Share and comment and subscribe our channel and click the bell button for more videos. Thank you.